Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Welcome to this uh, webinar. My name is Theo and I will do the opening and introduce you to, to Paul and then Paul will take over. I would really, really like to just share with you a few things. First, it's in regard to the social media. We have the YouTube channel and Definitely, it's, uh, it's something I will encourage you to uh, subscribe to and also like the videos. If you go to the homepage, I will share with you anyway the link here on the chat right now. Here is the link. So if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see the upcoming live stream events. We do them on a daily basis. And here on the trading spotlight, you will see all the recordings of Paul's webinars. So because he's doing a series of webinars about price action, I will definitely encourage you to watch also the previous one if you have the chance when you have the opportunity. And uh, you can find many, many informations about uh, the markets and, and uh, trading in our channel. Uh, Hello, guys. The, the second one is the Instagram. The Instagram channel is this one here. I'm sharing it with you guys. Please make sure you follow us on this page. You can, we, we post all the time relative uh, things about the markets. And when you see me do some reels here, it's everything in relation to the markets. Okay, it's nothing beyond, except trading. So... Uh, you're gonna receive. You're gonna see the stories on a daily basis. And last one is the Telegram. One of the uh, most important, I would say, inform informative channel. You can uh, read many articles through here. We post about uh, stocks a lot. When we are about to go live, we put it there. So, in my opinion, you will never miss any live events with with this one. And you're gonna be also keep up with all the. Uh, the informations about about the markets. So, without saying more, Paul, it's a pleasure to see you on this webinar. Good, uh, good afternoon, Theo. Nice to see you. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm uh, pretty good, thank you. Pretty good. And yourself? Thank you so much. I'm fine too. Okay, uh, the place is yours, and you can take over. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Theo. you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome and uh, thank you for joining us here for uh, what would be what session two in uh, what is going to become kind of uh, Paul's ultimate price action guide. Um, we uh, we did uh, um, a session a couple of weeks ago, as Theo kindly commented, it's there in the uh, Admiral's YouTube channel, so be sure to, to uh, sort of, you know, uh, make sure you sign up, subscribe to that and you can also watch that. Um, I, I appreciate that uh, you know we're here to to cover an awful lot of uh, uh, content and uh, insight for for traders across the the whole spectrum. So, and um, whether you're a complete beginner or whether you've been here trading for a good while, there'll be plenty in this uh, series on a price action that will help you just become a better price action. Um, trader. So um, without further ado, why don't I bring up the slides and then we can uh, uh, crack on without having a look at today's session. Excellent. Super. So um, I'm hoping that you can still all hear me, you can see me, and that you can actually see the, <clears throat> the slide there. And as I said, it's going to be the kind of ultimate price action guide, which we're going to run over the next few weeks and months. Today's session is about the engulfing candle, all right? Very simple price action setup. What uh, my plan is to do is that, you know, as we uh, step into uh, a kind of a, you know, a weekly basis for these sessions is that one of the weeks will be on about some of the kind of like uh, price action elements, just providing a little bit of insight, a little bit of my own experience from trading price action for many years. Uh, and then also, you know, on the next week, what we'll do is we'll do like specific kind of setups, specific particular trades, that we can basically share with you and that we can have a look at in live market. So it's a 
constantly evolving, constantly sort of uh, growing series of, uh, of webinars that will just give you a little bit of help and a bit of insight and be make you the best price action trader that you uh, possibly can be. So uh, as always, it'd be kind of interesting to know those of you who are joining us here today, you know, how many of you are already using price action in your uh, trading or how many of you are completely new to trading and just trying to sort of get to grips with uh, all sorts of aspects of trading. Whatever it is, put it in the chat box or the comments box. Very happy to help you, okay, as and where I can uh, to make this session as mostly as interactive and as useful for yourselves as possible. Remember, here we are, Admiral, so Forex and CFD broker, okay, with uh, a global presence and local support, licensed and regulated across a wide range of uh, regulatory environments, providing competitive spreads on the most popular trading products and allowing you to engage with markets using the popular trading platforms of MT4 and MT5. If you have any questions about uh, Admirals, then uh, be sure to get in touch with your account representative, and I'll be very happy to help guide you. So what is on our agenda? As always, for these first few sessions, what we're going to talk a little bit about is, well, you know, what is price action trading, right? What is, you know, what is it? Because as I said, I appreciate that we have a broad spectrum of people who join us for our sessions and some of the people will be complete beginners. We'll just make sure that we have a clarify so that we always have a very clear definition, okay, that we can start from as we start to add in and, um, you know, bring to, uh, bring to the table more sort of advanced concepts. And I'm going to also talk about a particular price action setup, a particular candlestick, the engulfing candle, uh, and also about, well, you know, how can it help a new trader? You know, what can you do? How can you take away what you learn from here and utilize it in your own trading tomorrow? And then what we'll do is, you know, after a few slides, what we're going to do is we're going to switch across to the charts, you know, and then we're going to look at, we're going to look at some price action in live markets. And we'll also have a little look at a couple of engulfing candle setups and how they have shown up, okay, in markets, because I appreciate that. You know, we can talk here, okay, and we can discuss academic elements, but it always helps to be able to, to see the actual concepts, you know, in, in the live market to understand how they play out, what we're looking for, are there any extra specific elements that can help us identify our setups even better. So lots for us to cover today, lots for us to, to chat about. And as always, if you've got questions or if you've got any comments or thoughts or insight or feedback, please, by all means, just make sure that, uh, you know, you can put that in the chat box. Also, just remember that at the end of this session, there will also be a very quick, brief feedback form that will come to you. would really appreciate if you take the 20 to 30 seconds just to quickly fill it out in order to basically help us sort of develop and evolve and make the, these sessions as useful as possible for you. For those of you who don't know me yet, uh, my name's Paul. I've traded for many, many years, okay? I've uh, traded for funds, okay? I've traded for clients. Uh, primarily, I like to focus on FX indices and commodities in the vast majority of my own trading. But what I'm going to be talking about in our sessions it is pretty generic in the sense that it is what I always talk about is about you being a versatile trader uh, and is also about the setups being effectively time frame and instrument agnostic. So what I will share with you Whilst I might focus on particular assets, you can trade them across everything from equities to crypto to FX to, to bonds, okay, to uh, to individual uh, individual equities or uh, indices or even commodities. That's the way I want to do because I appreciate we have a broad range of traders here from around the globe. Wherever you are uh, joining us from, you are uh, indeed very, very welcome. For most of my own trading, when I'm looking to sort of uh, uh, trade longer term, I tend to be a trend trader for longer term positions, and I tend to be a reversal trader for very shorter intraday trading. That's the way I kind of operate myself, and I'll be sharing with you both of those kind of styles of trading, both those of experiences, both of those kind of uh, uh, my own kind of uh, you know mistakes, my own successes with you, in order that you can basically learn all right from myself, and as I said, so that you can become the the best price action trader that you can be. So, as the slide says, today we're continuing our new series based on helping traders understand and utilize price action in their own trading. It's very often easy for beginner traders to be intimidated by the amount of knowledge required to be able to analyze markets. However, with some education and understanding of how candlesticks are formed and what they're telling us, then it becomes easier to analyze and understand markets. So, each Wednesday, 
What I'll be doing is we're building upon the previous session so that you're educated and informed how to use price action in your trading. And as I said, stay with us till the end because we'll be switching across to the live market so we can actually see what's going on, how have their setups occurred, was there elements that we could take on board, what can we utilize in our own particular trading style. So, as I said, it'd be good to know what, if any, experience you have of utilizing price action in your own trading. Maybe it's something that's part of your trading. Maybe it's completely new to you. That's absolutely fine. Okay. That's what these sessions are for to help everybody, to help every, educate everybody. And so, you know, if you've got any questions or thoughts, by all means, just pop them in the chat box. I'll be very happy to try and help you. So for our first few sessions, as we set the tone, as we sort of, you know, effectively uh, come towards a very clear definition, we'll start with always with well, what actually is price action trading? Uh, how do we define that? Well, I would define it as a, a basic means of market analysis using price movement over time. You'll find that it's popular with both retail and institutional traders. What we're doing is we're analyzing the changes in prices over time. That's the action, so to speak, that we're uh, all looking at. What we'll be mostly doing is typically focusing on price action over the last three to six months, but also respecting longer term price movements. What I've said there as before is that, you know, price action, once you learn to read it and to understand it and to be able to sort of, you know, work with it, well, then it will find you'll find it will work across all time frames and across all instruments. But what we're going to be focusing on just to basically help us with the with the kind of constraints we have all right in terms of time is that we'll be focusing more on sort of kind of let's say weekly daily four hourly charts the reason being is that you know that i have kind of a broader picture to work from but also i recognize that an awful lot of the people here watching us and joining us for our sessions they'll be looking to sort of trade around their existing life commitments maybe they have a day job maybe you have you no know, lifestyle family commitments etc and so, you know, you're actually sort of, you know, trading as a, as a, uh, you know, as you're trading, as you're learning to trade, you're trading as a part time endeavor around your um, other lifestyle commitments. And so being able to do something that you can do at the weekends, a little bit of time in either the evening or the morning based upon your uh, commitments and your geographical location will actually allow you to sort of employ and utilize this information as quickly as possible. So with that in mind, what we're going to be doing over the sessions and weeks is I'm going to be showing you how we create a price action trading plan. What you'll find, as I said, is I'll start with the monthly, the weekly and the daily charts, because what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to identify price levels that we believe price will react at. That reaction is what might provide us opportunity. Those particular price levels become interesting when they are things like horizontal levels of support and resistance or they are a big round psychological number. Humans love them. Or we could have even moving averages, which we'll do a session on in a few weeks time. And that is what we would call dynamic levels of support and resistance. Why dynamic? Well, because it's constantly moving. Whereas a horizontal level of support and resistance is pretty much in and it's set. Moving average, remember, is always adding. It's always changing based upon the price action, based upon what is printing. But as I said, we'll cover plenty of that as we go through uh, in our sessions. So here's what we're going to look at today. The engulfing candle pad, um, sometimes also called, uh, you know, an outside bar, all right, you'll see it. So if, you know, I'm not too worried or fussed about how you label it, what I am interested in is that you understand what it is and, and understand with clarity about what it is that defines an engulfing candle. As the slide shows, an engulfing candle is formed when the high and the low of the bar fully engulf the range of the preceding bar. Just bring up the old drawer until there, okay? Must, okay, completely, the high and the low, fully engulf the range of the preceding bar. It must include the complete engulfment of the entire range of the previous bar, not just the body. And this is quite important to me. And this is my particular take. This is my particular style, because sometimes what we might see is that sometimes people will just basically look at so long as the candle engulfs the 
the body of the previous candle, they would call that an engulfing candle. That is not my definition. My definition is, here we go, excuse my, uh, excuse my drawing there, okay? I'm a better trader than I am an artist, ladies and gentlemen, you'll be pleased to hear, all right? Is that what we see is that the high and the low of the bar before, and actually we have to engulf the complete range and that range includes the wicks, okay? That range includes the wicks. It has to engulf completely. Sometimes they just sort of people, you might hear some traders sort of just basically, as long as it, you know, if it's a big bar, then they will call that a candle. That is not, that is not a definition that I would recognize. An engulfing candle, okay, whether it be in this particular case, a bearish engulfing candle, it's bearish because it closed lower than it high, then it's uh, opened, or in a bullish candle, okay, bullish engulfing candle because it effectively closed higher than it, um, than it opened. It, you know, it must completely engulf the range of the preceding candle, okay? Must completely engulf. The one thing I would say about engulfing candles is they happen infrequently. They do not happen as often as you would like, all right? I'm sorry to share that with you. But the important thing is, is that when they do occur, they are well worth taking notice of. Because what you will find is that if the trend is not ending, it is about to, okay? It's a sign, okay? It's a sign that the, there is a shift occurring. That there is a shift occurring from either the bulls to the bears, from the bears to the bulls, okay? Depending upon the thing. And what it does do is it provides traders with a clue to the next possible move. It gives us an indication of where the higher probability move is. No definite, and there's no such thing as definite in trading, but it's going to give you an indication of where the highest probability move is next. So what is always worth knowing about candlestick patterns of any sort is that a candlestick pattern, by its very nature, is a reversal pattern. Just take that on board. You'll have heard me say it before if you've heard me talking about price action. Candlestick okay, is by nature a reversal pattern. So for it to be a really truly valid pattern, there needs to be something for it to reverse. So if I have here, for example, like a bearish engulfing candle, well, I want to see a bearish engulfing candle at the end of an uptrend. That's what I want to see. Alternatively, okay, if I have a bullish engulfing candle, I want to have seen that occur at the end of the downtrend. Because what I want to have seen is that we have reached a level, maybe it's a horizontal support level, maybe it's a big round psychological number, maybe it is a dynamic level support resistance. And for whatever reason, in this particular case, the bulls have stepped in and they've wrestled control of the market away from the bears. And actually what we're expecting is that there's more likely that the next move will be an up move and we want to be able to be prepared for that so as i say they are a reversal pattern they need to sort of have something to reverse when you see let's clear this down when you see engulfing candles okay in the middle of a consolidation pattern or you know price is just going sideways they don't really they don't really hold the same cachet they don't really have the same value to you as a trader. What we want, okay, is we want basically an engulfing candle to occur at the end of a trend, there to have been a move. Now, maybe that is the end of a complete trend. Maybe it's the end of a pullback. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. And we'll show you a couple of examples later. But we want to be able to see that, okay? And as I said, they don't happen as often as we would like, but when they do happen, especially on bigger time frames. It's important that you sit up and take notice of them, ladies and gentlemen. So here's a couple more examples. Here's another thing that is important to me, okay? When I see engulfing candles, I want them to be a big, strong candle. I want to have to see big, strong body, okay? Big, strong body on the candle, okay? What I don't particularly want to see is, I don't know, maybe we've had a little candle like this, and then the next candle has, you know, it kind of a, you know, it's a small body, but, you know, it has got a, a bit of a big wick on either side. Yes, it has engulfed the preceding bar, but the fact that there's wicks like that, that's actually, that's more, you're looking at more of it being like a doji, more of a spinning top, more about selling this indecision. What I want to see is, I want to see 
big strong candles okay big strong candle big strong body i want it to leap off the chart at me okay because that's what we that's what the place that we want to be at where actually the good signals will almost leap off the chart at us so remember what i was just saying there on the uh, the preceding slide if i'm getting here this is you know very bullish okay there's two examples of very strong bullish engulfing candles remember they should have come at the end of a downtrend we get a small okay we get a red bar seller's bar and then just think of what's happened here price opens price pushes down the seller still and for whatever reason the buyers have stepped in they've taken control they've pushed it pushed it all the way past in this particular case we've closed right on the highs okay there's a real big strong signal being sent to the market the bears are no longer in control the bulls are in control the probability is that price will probably move to the upside after that not always okay there's nothing 100 trading but the higher probability is that it will move it will move to the upside and we might want to make use of that information to build ourselves a position or on the flip side remember what i said is that if we have a bearish engulfing candle is that we need to see it at the end of an uptrend price has been here the bulls have been in control as price has rallied up price has made a little you know strong bear it bullish candle and then next day okay let's just say this is the next day is that price has opened here where it closed and then price has tried to continue continued higher then for whatever reason maybe as i said maybe we're at a big round number maybe we're at a level of resistance maybe we're at a um, uh, a level of dynamic resistance of a moving average price whatever happened the bears have stepped in they've wrestled control and they've started selling and have sold all the way all the way past the entry all the way down okay low much lower and just a little bit of a pullback at the end of the day probably the day traders covering their shorts and close but we have a big strong candle there okay which completely engulfs the preceding candle and then it's basically sort of telling us that the probability is that the bears are in control the likelihood is is that we're actually going to be shifting okay we're going to move to the downside and that is what we're particularly looking for So what I want to do, as I said, is to be clear that you actually understand that, you know, what an engulfing candle is. It's a reversal candle, so there needs to be something to reverse. We want big, strong bodies, and also the high and the low must completely engulf the range of the bar before. That is the true definition of a proper engulfing candle. So I've put a few examples up here just before we move across to the uh, the live chart. So this is the dollar against the Swiss franc. It's a daily chart. And there's been a few kind of examples setting up here, okay, that we've had over the last couple of months. And as I said, it always helps to be able to, to, to see it on a, uh, on a chart. Let's bring up the old drawing tool here, okay? Um, so, you know, what we've had is, you know, there's been some particularly big moves here, okay? And there's been some very big swings on the, uh, the dollar against the, the Swiss franc. As what has actually been happening is both the we've had dollar strength, but also Swiss franc strength as well. Okay. And they've effectively been jostling between them over the last few months. That provides us some very, very nice particular swings. All right. And, you know, swings provide opportunity for us. Um, and what we actually saw here is that, uh, you know, having hit this uh, level of resistance, price actually sort of dropped down here, okay, during July of this year. Uh, and then actually what happened is it, it went lower than the, uh, the, the most recent low here. And then what it actually did is it prints it prints a bullish engulfing candle, okay? Prints a bullish engulfing candle, and then what actually happens is for the next few sessions, price goes up before it goes sideways. All right. So what we actually see here is that having gone up for a few sessions, price actually continues down there. If price continues down here because it actually comes back to what do we say? Dynamic support here at the two hundred period moving average. As I said, we'll cover sort of moving averages in my own session, okay, in a, in a few weeks' time. But as a general rule on my charts, I have a blue 20 period moving average, red 50 period moving average, and a green 200 period moving average. So, you know, we've had a setup here and it hasn't really flown. It, it did rise, but it hasn't flown as much as we would like. Welcome to trading. But just look at what actually happens here, okay, is that invariably what we see is price continues to fall down. And then here, what it does is it prints a very strong, very bullish engulfing candle, which has also come after, okay, rejection candle at that level of support. You'll hear me start to talk about confluence of events. What we're ideally looking for, okay, with price action trading, 
is to identify areas where there's two, three, four things coming together in one time and place that allow us to effectively sort of trade that market or give us an opportunity for a trade. And that is what we see here, okay? If we have an bullish engulfing candle here and actually price basically we can see rallies its way up there. And it rallies its way up there for pretty much the whole rest of uh, August before we came into this month, before what happens is, you know, we have returned to this kind of area of resistance and what some might call that, uh, you know, an area of, uh, uh, of supply. In the and invariably, what happens is price goes sideways for a bit. Price actually tries to put in a, a bullish engulfing candle, but then actually, what it does is it prints a bearish. Okay, print price prints a bearish after this nice run up. You can see that price is getting ready to roll over, and what actually happens is bosh, price falls all the way down. And where does it fall all the way down to? It falls all the way down back to that level of support, dynamic level of support, okay, in the 200 period moving average. What does it do when it gets there? Well, it prints, what is that? That is a bullish engulfing candle, isn't it? Okay, it completely engulfs the preceding candle. And then price we see has a little bit, but it's moving its way up here. And we will see what happens over the rest of this month as that particularly works out. So what we have there, okay, at the moment is, you know, in just in those last couple of months, we've had one, two, three, four, five engulfing candle patterns just in that particular period. And you know, that's effectively, you know, just a kind of a six to eight week period. As I said, they don't happen as often as you would like, but when they do happen, ladies and gentlemen, it is worth sitting up and taking notice of them, all right? It is worth sitting up and taking notice of them because when you get them as a confluence of events, so at the end of a trend, at a level of support or resistance, with suitable scoring price action that also gives you a very good, strong, clear engulfing candle, that is where our trade opportunity arises. So how do we actually look to trade that? How do we actually look to sort of work with that? Well, invariably, to begin with, okay, to begin with, to start with as a, uh, as a new trader, what we generally suggest is that we look to sort of, you know, a trade a break, okay, a break of the uh, engulfing candle in, in, in its Tender direction with the stop loss beneath the low of that candle. Uh, and what we suggest is always look for a two to one reward to risk, two to one or the next suitable level of support or resistance. But we should be looking at around about a two to one reward to risk pattern. That is particularly what we're looking for. You know, and we can see that you know there we achieved it there. Okay, we've also kind of achieved it here as well in terms of the move down. This is a very big candle. Okay, there's a big candle and stuff. So you know we're expecting it. We'll need it to go back up here. So what we would be doing watching that very closely to see how that uh, plays out with some of the, the news that we'll see coming out for the rest of this particular month. But there we go. When markets are swinging, okay, when markets are swinging, putting in nice kind of swing trends like that, there is always great opportunity for a price action trader to be able to just simply sort of just trade good price action signals. Uh, and here's another example I wanted to share with you. This is the euro against the US dollar on the daily chart. And just a very simple engulfing candle as part of a trend, as part of a pullback with the confluence of events. Let's just draw it in here, okay? So I think we can all uh, sort of see and say that in very price has been in a downtrend for the euro against the dollar, a reflection of a very weak euro and a very strong dollar this uh, these last few months, in fact, pretty much throughout this year. We can see that actually, you know, price had sort of broken its lows here. There was a bit of a support there before it broke down through it. But then actually price recycled back up to around what is around about that kind of 111 area. We can see that what was support started to become resistance. Hopefully you can see that. And then price actually sort of, you know, rallied its way up here. And what happened is into this area, okay, this level of resistance, which is also now has dynamic resistance from this the red 50 period moving average and then what happens is we print here bosh what do we print we print a bearish engulfing candle remember we want to see it at the end of something we can see the price has basically been drifting its way up as a bit of a as a bit of a pullback in what is the dominant downward trend then invariably we're looking to basically short okay we can short the break of the low our stop above the high you know, and a two to one, okay, a two to one target takes us down here, okay, just south of 108.35. 108 
but you can see for yourself invariably that you know price has continued much much further and i do recognize that some traders like to sort of trail their stops and run their trades as off as long as possible and you're absolutely welcome to do that as you know trading and golf and candles generally i just suggest that you know for new traders to begin with just trade the break of the air entry of the candle in the direction of our travel our stop loss above the other side the high and then look for about a two to one reward to risk okay that is your trade that you can sort of effectively um set you know almost just let it set and run away so that was you know another different example okay an example there of a pullback in an existing strong trend but then when price pulled back to an area where there is support has become resistance where there is the dynamic resistance of a 50 period moving average and then followed by basically you know a bearish engulfing candle at the end of a little bit of an uptrend okay and the pullback you've got a confluence of events three or four things all coming together one time and place to give you an idea this is where there's a good trade this is where i want to be doing my business so here's a few of uh, paul's top tips all right okay for when we're looking at engulfing candles price action sets they don't happen in isolation, all right? You have to understand the context. And for me, that context helps when we have, as we say, a confluence of events, all right? Two, three, four things all coming together at one time and place. Engulfing candles, they should occur at the end of a trend, all right? Not really in a period of consolidation, at the end of a trend, at a location of interest. That location of interest might be a support resistance level, a static one, okay, horizontal one. Might even be a trend line, a big round psychological number, double zeros, triple zeros, or a moving average, just like we saw on that euro dollar chart, you know, the 50 period moving average up to there, the trade is on. So those are just a few tips, just to, you know, additional tips, confluence events, okay? Always be looking for a confluence of events. And we're going to build on that session by session. We'll build this into our own trading plan. So before we sort of just move across to the uh, the charts, just a little of a few conclusions. Price action analysis is a way of analyzing markets using purely price action. We're looking for price action triggers at significant price levels, prices, or zones. It allows us to build a very simple price action trading plan, but it is always important to do our analysis and to manage risk. And we will do sessions just on managing risk. In the case of engulfing candles, they happen rarely, but they are very useful when they occur at the right time and place. Remember what we talked about in terms of confluence of events. That's what we're always looking for, confluence of events. So why don't we go and have a little look at the month live markets and just have a look at a couple of examples to see what's been going on. Before that, just don't forget to join us for the next session in Paul's Ultimate uh, Price Action Guide where we're going to be talking about identifying a trend. What's the simplest and easiest way for us to identify a trend? How do we define a trend? Why is that even important to a new trader? And how to identify those new trends using price action in live markets? So the next session of Paul's Ultimate Price Action Guide will be Wednesday, 5th of October. Check your inbox for the webinar link, uh, and I hope to, uh, to see you there. If in the meantime, you need to get in touch with Admiral Markets, please get in touch with them. You can see there, there's email there at globaladmiralmarkets.com. You can see them there, okay? And as I always say, this video and all the rest of the uh, fab fabulous content myself and my colleagues uh, generate here at Admirals, you'll find on the YouTube uh, uh, channel for Admirals and also the facebook.com page. So let's just switch across to live markets, shall we, okay? We'll just switch across. We'll have a little look. Okay, there's plenty to, to uh, for us to look at as always. We're going to be using the Admirals platform, so just bear with us one moment, and we'll uh, we'll just do that. Super. So I hope that you can uh, still hear me. Hope that you can see me. Hope you can see the slides, if you know, or rather the uh, the charts and stuff. If you can uh, let us know. Uh, Michael says, thank you very much for the useful webinar. Um, you're very welcome, Michael. It's been great to have you here. Okay, we're just going to talk about live markets here and stuff. 
Teresa says, is there any correlation between volatility and time frame you trade on? Uh, that's a very good question, Teresa. Okay. Um, uh, I would normally generally say that the shorter the time frame, the higher the volatility. Volatility, I would suggest, is a double-edged sword. All right. That's my suggestion for that, uh, Teresa. Is that uh, and what I mean by that is that you know, when when you're on the right side of the market, volatility can be enormously helpful. Okay. It can be the you know, think of it like as the, the wind in your sails pushing your trade towards your targets. On the flip side, if you're on the wrong side of the market and it's enormously volatile, that can be you know very, very challenging. But as a general rule, I tend to see say that the smaller the time frame, the higher the volatility, and uh, the higher the time frame, you know, there is relative less volatility than the intraday charts, okay? Which is another reason why I often suggest for new traders, you know, looking at four hour daily, weekly, and maybe even monthly uh, on there, it, what that allows you to do is it allows you to take a little bit of time to identify the setup to do your position sizing, okay? To do your position sizing to uh, to look at uh, um, making sure that you're doing proper risk management session, which we will do in a in a future uh, in one of our future pulls on but price action guide sessions. Um, and it gives you a bit of time to do that to set the trade and to actually work with it rather than if you're trying to trade on a one minute chart. Okay, things are happening very very fast. Things can change very fast, and if you're not used to operating at that kind of level of intensity. It means that there's the opportunity to make um, particular mistakes. Neshu says hello. You're very welcome. Great to see you, uh, Lalit. Uh, apologies if I've not pronounced your name. Is the engulfing candle is the engulfing candle valid on all time frames? Yeah, absolutely right. Okay, it is in valid on all time frames and on all instruments. Just that, as I say, you know they don't happen as often as you would like. You just need to be able to recognize uh, and you know, recognize them when you do. Now, surprisingly, on lower time frames, okay, then you will see more of them than you will on the higher time frame. But the higher time frame, because they have more data, going tends to have a little bit of validity. Talking of which, ladies and gentlemen, why don't we have a little look? Okay, just a you know different time frame, different instrument. So um, here we go. I've got equities here, just you know equities, which are a tradable instrument here on the Admirals platforms. Okay, both MT4, MT5. I'm going to be using both here today for as MT4 and MT5. Um, this is Facebook, okay? I'm sure many of you use Facebook. I'm sure many of you actually maybe follow Admirals on Facebook, okay? But Facebook is also a uh, you know it's a tradable instrument, a very popular tradable instrument. And um, and here's a you know an interesting point for you is that I recognise that we have all sort of manner of experience with traders, but we also have all sorts of different types of uh, uh operators okay market operators some of you will be very short-term aggressive traders some of you might be swing traders some of you might be investors okay and even that is an investor a long-term investor understanding price action understanding engulfing candles can help you and here's a fantastic example this is the monthly chart of facebook and you can see for many years facebook was going in you know one direction wasn't it yes there were some very particular nice pullbacks okay some very nice pullbacks there, okay, you know, uh, very strong pullbacks as it goes, okay, breaking it out there right as it went. But what did we have here, okay, what did we have here at the end, okay, what signaled the end of that uptrend was invariably, bosh, this big bearish engulfing candle. And you can see for yourself, that was the very high of Facebook and it's been a pretty sorry state since then. Sorry to stay for an investor, a great stay if you've been shorting it. But what we can see there is, you know, you might be an investor. You might be an investor using some of Admiral's uh, um, uh, accounts to be able to do that. But, you know, you might be a longer term investor. But, you know, we can see here that in bearish engulfing candle happened at the end of a long uptrend. It gave us an indication that that trend was over. OK, it was the top. It was the peak. We can see that basically it has price has collapsed since then. So you might have been, you know, you might have been a long investor in Facebook, but once you see, okay, the, the engulfing candle on a big monthly chart against you, that might have been a time for you to start to tighten up your stops, to take some profit, to take your position off the table, because as you can see there, that was the end of it. And that's what, as I said, engulfing candles, they work on all time frames and all instruments, okay? You know, just being able to, to, to work with that. So that was um, um, Facebook on uh, on the monthly chart. Okay, I have one or two of the equities before we go across to the thing. Let's have a look at uh, Apple. Okay, Apple, very popular product, isn't it? Very popular product, very uh, well traded product. Once again, let's just uh, bring this out. Give me a little bit of maneuver room here. 
uh, what we can see is not unsurprisingly, this is the weekly chart of Apple. You know, uh, and we were in a, uh, you know, we were in an uptrend. Okay, lots of swings, lots of pullbacks. Okay, that's a that's the sign of a healthy trend. Okay, remember. Next session, we're going to talk about that. Until we came, okay, to the end of the year here, what we had was we had a high here, and then really right at the start of 2022, okay, right at the start of 2022, what did we print there? Okay, what did we print? We printed, bosh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen, a bearish engulfing candle on the weekly chart, okay, on the weekly chart, indeed, right at the start of 2022. And actually what it turned out to be, it turned out to be the exact high of the year so far. Furthermore, what I'd say is that, you know, this actually was as part of a double top, okay? Part of a double top. There's a confluence of events building here. We've had a double top. We've had a very strong trend and a trend which had accelerated away from moving average, double top, big bearish engulfing candle. And what happens there is that we see price drops. Price tries to rally again, okay? But then actually, what does it do? It prints another bearish engulfing candle before price drops again, away again. And that's what we see in there, okay, in that move. So, you know, that is just, you know, that's Apple, okay? A very popular chart, the weekly chart, okay? If you were long in Apple, once you saw that double top reversal pattern, which also had a bearish engulfing candle, that's the time to basically finish it. If you're a reversal trader, seeing that double top reversal pattern at the end of a trend, that was an opportunity for you to be getting short into, into Apple. And you were basically short at the top of the year. I don't normally, okay, sort of, you know, suggest that people try to pick tops and bottoms in markets, but occasionally, occasionally what will happen is just the, you know, the, the signal will just leap off the charts at you, okay? This was the, you know, that was the the, the top of uh, the top of Apple there. So that was an example there. I think I've got, oh, we've got a couple of minutes, so let's have a little look at, uh, maybe we'll have a look at Microsoft here, okay? Microsoft did pretty much the same, okay? And this is one of the things we saw is that, you know, across quite a few of these tech uh tech titans at the end of the year this is the weekly chart again okay of microsoft okay so remember what i'm saying it's all a case of uh you know they are instrument and time frame agnostic doesn't matter whether you're trading five minute euro dollar charts you're trading hourly charts on bitcoin you're trade, trading daily charts on gold or weekly charts on microsoft once you can recognize okay good price action setups well then you can trade them wherever you find them and i think that is a that's a great skill to have as a trader and what we had here was Microsoft was in a very good trend, okay, as I said, pretty much like all of the others, good, strong trend, okay, with pullbacks. This pullback was actually started by an engulfing candle. I came back to uh, an area of uh, which was, you know, resistance, then becomes support, price rallies up. But what happens here, okay, what happens here? Having been in a really strong uptrend, starting to accelerate away, it then, what does it do? It prints a bearish engulfing candle, okay, prints a bearish engulfing Candle coming into the end of the year, price does go sideways for a bit, doesn't it? it? Does go sideways before you know it's almost like it cracks, and there we go. And that was the high for the last, what was effectively now the high for the last nine months. All right. So as I said, engulfing candle patterns they don't happen as often as you'd like, but when they do happen, especially on these higher time frames, take note, ladies and gentlemen. Right? They're either telling you the opportunity to get out of your you know existing, let's say, long trade, or they're giving you an opportunity. Right, because the market is likely to be reversing and falling away, okay, in that particular case. So that's what we look to, and that's what I was suggested to, to, to keep to keep an eye on. So there were a few different examples on equities. Let's, and this is on the Admiral's MT4 platform. Uh, why don't I have a little look at here? We go. I've got here's the Admiral's MT5 platform here. Okay, and we can have a little look here for a few minutes just to just to, to check out just a couple of on um, FX pairs. So uh, uh, let's start with, uh, let's have a little look at dollar CAD. There you go, dollar CAD on the monthly chart. And as I said, I mean, you know, kind of a lot of monthly, weekly daily because I want you to be able to go and see them yourself, want you to be able to find them, want you to be able to identify them yourself. And, you know, monthly, weekly, daily charts, as I said, you can trade these at the weekends, all right? You can do your analysis at the weekends around your day job or, your, you know, your family commitments it allows you to sort of be engaged with markets without having to be sat there all day, every day, okay? Which uh, I appreciate. Many of you might like to do that, but just, you know, just unable to because of the, the, the way your life is. So what we had here is uh, over 2020, 2021, we had an absolute, you know, fantastic downtrend, you know, a great downtrend of dollar weakness, Canadian dollar strength. 
But what happened is we get back to this area here, okay, around about 120, big round number 120. And what do we do? We print a very strong bullish engulfing candle there, okay? Very strong bullish engulfing candle, really big, strong body on it, isn't it, okay? And where does it go? Well, from that time, we've seen that we've basically worked our way up there, okay? From down at 120 up to what's that about? Just under 134 there at the moment. So now it's just even on just the monthly chart. As I said, they don't happen very often. When they do, you want to sit up and take notice. That's what we want to be working and looking at. What else have we got here? Uh, dollar yen whilst we're next, okay? Dollar yen on uh, the monthly chart here. Let's have a little look. What we'd actually had was a dollar yen was in a very strange for years, okay, over on the monthly chart. It was basically almost like a, a descending triangle that was setting up here, okay? Price was just drifting its way down. Drifting its way down until the start, you know, of 2020, when what happens is, having been in a downtrend, it prints, what does it print there? Prints a bullish engulfing candle pattern. And then what do we see? It basically price just has rallied all the way up there from dollar yen, okay? From what we were down there, okay, around about 10, about 102 to what, well, about 103, 104, we're now up at 144. And I'm not suggesting that you would have run all the way there, but you know, when you get big moves like that, there is the opportunity to sort of, as I said, ride that particular trend. And maybe you don't trade the monthly chart and you're saying, well, Paul, yeah, that's okay, that's great, but you know, I don't really trade monthlies. But if you look at the weekly chart, okay, going into it, well, you know, we can see what we saw here is that that long trend started to, you know, set itself up it started to run we had a little pullback here okay at the start of the uh, the year and then invariably what we did was we printed okay strong bullish engulfing candle price breaking above there with the stop loss beneath it yes it goes sideways for a couple of weeks but then it rallies its way strongly up okay rallies its way strongly up and that's the and that's what we're particularly sort of interested in and looking at now i'm gonna just as i said earlier a lot of people would like to have called this an engulfing candle, all right? They would have said that that is an engulfing candle, but that is not the way I would look at it. Why? Because actually the low of that candle we saw is lower than the low of that candle, all right? An engulfing candle has to engulf the entire range, the high and the low of the preceding bar. And yes, it was a strong candle and it moved all the way up there. That's absolutely right. But in terms of looking at a very clear definition to start with, that is actually what we're looking for, okay? It has to engulf the high and the low, the range of the preceding candle for it to be a good, strong engulfing candle. So um, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, as always, we've uh, run out a little bit of uh, time there, okay? Time flies when you're having fun, as they say here in the UK. Uh, and hopefully that has been a useful and interesting session for yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Um, remember, you know what I'm saying, you know, engulfing candles don't happen often, but when they do, they are worth taking note of. Ideally, what we want to see is a confluence of events. We want to be basically seeing price happening at a location of interest. Might be a level of horizontal support resistance. Might be a big round psychological number. Maybe it's dynamic level, like moving average, et cetera. But when you get that confluence of events, that is where we start to get interested. So remember, the next session will be on 5th of October, okay, where we'll talk about identifying a trend, okay, all part of good understanding price action. And as always, I wish you the very best of success in your own trading endeavors, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a fabulous trading week. If you can take a moment or two just to fill in the feedback form after this, it would be appreciated. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Trade well, everybody. Cheers.